Let's see how this sounds. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 44, Cover Your Bets. In today's episode, we set out to tune the trio, the recorder violin trio that we had composed a couple streams ago, to tune the hymn, especially the end dynamics, and that is what you just heard. We basically added a little bit of a forte right in there, and it made it come out just right. And we also wanted to upload some selected animations for our upcoming open mic session. So the thing we spent the most time on was the this thing. This is the trio, the recorder violin trio. And we had not really done any major trying to identify what the elements were. We knew that we were changing modes. We knew that we were changing orchestration, turning the violin off and on and so forth. So as usual with these diagrams, it's really interesting to see what happens when you turn things off and on. So for example, if we turn off, is it a mode change? Then you get a diagram that looks like that. So again, there are five parts, one, two, three, four, five, and you can track the red line to kind of show where they are. And then you can see some high, medium, low, high, low. And then when we, uh, so then we take out the orchestration effect, and then we still got five parts, but it's kind of a little more, I don't know, jagged looking. Then we take out the harmony, and now it's pretty flat. What's left? This is the the volume, and of course there's nothing left here. So volume by itself is looks like this, and we start with a peak, then we go flat, up, up, down, up. That's our volume. And if we look at our chord function energy, then when we have a lot of ambiguous, and ambivalent and dominant, subdominant chords, we get that. When we have a lot of tonic chords, we get that. So that's pretty clear. You can see a clear difference in the five sections. Then orchestration only. This is basically when you have three instruments, two, three instruments, and two. And then this is mode change. And this is, it's the change. It's not whether minor major is high or low energy. It's whether it did the mode change, and if so, where. And that's pretty dramatic. We started in a minor, and then bam, we went to major. And then we stayed in major, so the change, there was no more change. And then we went to minor, and then we went to major. So that's what that looks like. So as you add these factors all back in, it gets to looking more and more interesting and uh, nuanced, as we like to say. And we get that kind of a trio energy chart shape. We also tuned our hymn diagram a teeny weeny little bit as we mentioned a few minutes ago basically we just came over to the we added a score for uh, the lyric here and we said we're going to kick the lyric up just a little bit at two points and how much is the difference does that make well we can examine that visually it doesn't look like much you have to take everything else out to even begin to see what the effect is. That's arpeggios. And that's the backbone. What did we take out? We took one out too many. Okay, that is going to back in. So there you can see, we just kicked it a little bit right there and it sounded excellent. And we kicked it a little bit right there and it sounded excellent. And we deliberately left it unstressed in here, which fits with the kind of the mode of it all. So this is our uh, 
him energy. This is again, this is our whatever it is, backbone figure direction, up down. That kind of washes everything out. Then this is our the loudness of the arpeggios at the end, which dramatically distinguish the three sections of our energy chart again. And then this is our the backbone loudness. And then this is the arpeggio chord function. And then this is our backbone end note. So one of our key realizations is that when you listen to it versus when you look at the chart, sometimes things that really stand out and you're listening, like boosting those little ends in those two places, orally make a big difference, whereas on the chart you can barely see them. So it's really helped. It's been really helpful to be able to turn these things off and on with the multiplier and look at them individually. That's been very helpful. So what we're going to do as usual is uh, listen to the music and then take us home. This is the tuned violin and recorder trio. And here we go. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are looking how we can take the hymn, which you heard earlier, and work with sharing that. Uh, the themes part, we're still working on the visual animation, has some ideas for tuning that further. And we want to keep relabeling and identifying the pieces that we feel are getting completed by using the tuned label. So we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do come back. We appreciate your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. And as always, keep on streaming.